Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Machine, and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RFC. Today, uh, we're going to do a melodic techno track from the 2005, released on James Holden's Barther Community label, and the song is called Gazebo by Fairmont, a project by Jack Farley. So let's get right into it. We have four sounds to do. The first one is the main sound of the melody, which is this one, which has a K7D turning off and an equalizer. Okay, now let's bring back the default patch. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is drop the pregame to 578. Oscillator 1 is 602. Mm. Sub oscillator at 547. Okay. And change the first oscillator to a triangle wave, raise one octave. Raise one octave in the sub oscillator and change it to a sine wave. Okay. And next thing that we're going to do go to the modulation page and raise the keyboard, uh, drop the keyboard to zero. This means that the higher the note, the less cutoff frequency we have. Uh, then on the VCA, which controls the amplitude of the sound, we're going to have keyboard maximum. This means the higher the velocity, the higher, no, the higher the note, the higher the volume. And we want the velocity at 0 0.6 which is, means the higher the velocity, the higher the volume. Okay. Now for the filter itself, we have envelope generator to amount. This is the amount of modulation from envelope generator two to the cutoff. And we want to change the filter to a low pass two pole, uh, raise the envelope generator to amount to 769. Drop the cutoff to 152. And resonance at 150. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is go to the first um, envelope generator, which modulates the amplitude, and we have attack at zero, decay at three to eight. Sustain at zero, and release at 279. Envelope generator two, the one that is modulating the cutoff, Zero, 407 on DK, sustain at 273, two seven three, and release at uh, 596. 96. Okay. Now we go to the modulation page and here we have both oscillators modulated by the LFO2 by 248. And that's what we're going to do here. We go to modulation page, LFO2, 248. And now we go to the LFO2 
and rate and put the rate at three seven four. Like this. Okay. Getting close. Now, what we're going to do now is go to the reverb, raise the amount to 194, depth at 444, decay at 444, and modulation at 401. Okay, and we have our sound, our first sound. Let's now show you the equalizer. It gives that high bite. And then we have here a K7D with a sync at one fourth. It's really low. It's dry wet of 0 0.70. I didn't move the pre gain. The feedback is at 171. We have ping pong on with a little bit more than half stereo width, maximum woe. And on the filter, I didn't touch it. So, okay. Now let's go to the bass, which sounds like this. Okay. This equalizer is just turning off sub sub basses from below 30 hertz. This glue compressor is high attack, low release. Basically, with a ratio of maximum, it's just trying to get a little bit more bite from the attack of the sound. And for our synth, let's bring back the default patch. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is change the oscillator one to a square. And now we go to the master, bring it down to eight, 846. Pre-gain at 815. And oscillator 1 at maximum. Now for the filter, we change the mode from a low-pass 4-pole to a low-pass 2-pole. And we drop the envelope generator amount to 416. Again, this is the amount of modulation from the second envelope generator that will modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter. And we drop the cutoff to 080. Okay. Resonance at 170. Like this. And now we go to the first envelope generator, controlling the amplitude of the sound, and it puts 024 on the attack. Decay at 432, sustain at 0, release at 206. Envelope generator 2, 0, 334, 0, 200. Okay. And we have our bass done. This is the quite a simple patch, simple bass, one oscillator. Let's go. Now the drone sound, which sounds like this. Just gonna show you this compressor here is a sidechain compressor which is just using the kick to make it pump on amplitude. And this equalizer is just taking a little bit of some nasty low frequencies that keep the sound a little bit muddy. It's just something to give it a little bit more space on the mix. So let's bring back the default patch. Sorry. Oops. Sorry, guys. And first thing I'm going to do here 
is drop the master to 279. It's like this. Pre gain at 800. Oscillator 1, oscillator 2, ring modulator at maximum, and sub oscillator at 5, 4, 7. Okay, now first and second oscillator are sawtooth waves on the same uh, octave, but we detune the second one to 168. Okay. Now, uh, change the performance mode from poly to mono, uh, portamento on, and we have a portamento of 172. Legato on. Okay, and we're getting there. Now, envelope generator 2 amount, we're going to put it at 313. Drop the cutoff to 258. About there. And raise the resonance to 218. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is go to the first envelope generator, 151 on the attack, decay at zero, sustain at maximum, and release of 300. On the second envelope generator, the one modulating the cutoff, we have 500 and 5 on the attack. Decay at zero, sustain at maximum, release at 100. Now we go to the modulation page of the pitch. And for LFO1, oscillator 1, we're going to give it 246. And on the second LFO, to, we're going to put 250. This is modulating the pitch and they're both interacting with each other to give a weird pitch modulation on them. So now we go to the LFO one and we're going to change the rate to 350. Oh, it's on 350. And the LFO two, we want it at one fourth sync and a sawtooth. <laughs> now let's go to the reverb and let's raise the amount to 383 decay at 572 damping of 340 and modulation of 4, 4, 480. Okay. Finally, we turn the chorus on, drop the rate to 182, and raise the depth to 748. Okay, we have this sound ready, so let's go now to the last sound which is just this background. Kind of like a reverse uh, sound effect. So let's now bring back the default patch. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is change the oscillator one to a square. And oscillator two Let's drop two octaves, and it's a saw. So now we have 
Master and Oscillator 1 at maximum, pre-gain at 800, and Oscillator 2 at 724. Now for the filter, we drop the cutoff to 5 to 2. Okay. Now for the... Now for the attack, we have 0, 500, 800, Release at 300, no, 588. Five, eight, eight. Envelope generator 2, zero, zero, maximum, maximum. Now, on the reverb, we want on the reverb 529. On the DK, damping 500, modulation 100, and amount of 218. Okay. Here, as you can see here, we have a modulation on the attack of 511 because we had modulated heat here. I have modulation, so... That kind of brought me into an error. So it's 511. Okay. Now it sounds perfect. Okay, I think we have it everything ready. So let's now get this ready for us to listen to the music. Bear with me just a second while I get this ready. I think we got this, guys, so let's listen. This was it, guys. <clears throat> I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. As you know, we have content coming up every week, so giving us a like and subscribing to our channel would really mean a lot to us. So from me, it's goodbye, and see you again next week. Bye.